A year after England exited the World Cup semi-finals after an extra time defeat to Croatia, history repeated itself in the inaugural Nations League. The Netherlands were the victors on this occasion, coming from behind to send England home from Portugal. Ronald Koeman set his Dutch team up in a 4-2-3-1 formation in possession. Jorginho Wijnaldum played in the hole behind Memphis Depay, but looked to join and support the lone striker as much as possible. Daly Blind and Denzel Dumfries were allowed to advance high and wide, enabling Ryan Barbel and Steven Bergwijn to drift inside from their starting positions. Gareth Southgate's England side, which featured none of the seven players involved in the recent Champions League final, defended in a 4-1-4-1 formation. West Ham midfielder Declan Rice sat in between the lines to protect and screen the back four, with lone forward Marcus Rashford leading the press. Southgate's men pushed into a more attacking 4-3-3 when they had the ball. Ross Barkley and Fabian Delph started in the advanced midfield positions ahead of Rice, with Jadon Sancho and Raheem Sterling, wearing the captain's armband on the occasion of his 50th cap, either side of Rashford. Out of possession, the Dutch looked to get men behind the ball in a 4-2-3-1 shape that could also look like a 4-5-1. Once England's centre-backs received the ball, Wijnaldum would leave the midfield line and press with intensity in what looked more like a 4-4-2. The Netherlands' shape worked well in the first half. Central midfielders Frenkie de Jong and Martin de Roon sat in front of centre-backs Virgil van Dijk and Matthijs de Ligt, forming a box through which they could create angles to get on the ball and progress. This allowed the fullbacks to press high and the wide attackers to come inside and give England centre backs John Stones and Harry Maguire greater numbers to worry about. Out of possession, De Jong and Darun worked extremely hard to get close to opposite numbers Delph and Barkley. The England midfielders worked too much in straight lines and too often received the ball with their back to goal, meaning the only option was to look back to where the ball had just come from. A lack of rotation in the England midfield made it hard to create space and combine in central areas, where de Jong was the game's most influential player. England did take up a good defensive shape, however, and with the Dutch fullbacks advancing so high, Southgate's team looked dangerous on the counter. The pace of the England front three allowed them to start in deeper positions, but get up the pitch quickly to take advantage of the vast spaces left in behind the Netherlands' very high defensive line. Nevertheless, it was from a desperate defensive error from the highly rated young centre-back Matthias De Ligt that England opened the scoring. Rashford pounced on a missed control by the Ajax captain before drawing a foul in the Dutch area. The Manchester United forward stepped forward confidently to slot past Jasper Sillensen for his third goal in this Nations League campaign. England replaced the struggling Rashford with Harry Kane for the second half, but sat back and were happy to give up possession. This left Kane isolated and lessened the potential for counter-attacks, although they still worked hard off the ball. Whoever was nearest to the ball would press, while those around him would drop off and narrow to protect against balls through their lines. Five minutes after Koeman made a double change, dropping Wijnaldum into a deeper midfield role alongside De Jong, De Ligt made amends for his earlier error. The centre-back lost John Stones at a corner and rose high to power a header past Jordan Pickford. The centre-back, still a teenager, now has two international goals from 16 caps. Southgate reacted by introducing Jordan Henderson for Fabian Delph and switching to a 4-4-1-1, with Barkley and substitute Jesse Lingard in wide positions. Sterling pushed closer to Kane on the top line, from where he was also able to affect the growing influence of De Jong. Barkley and Lingard soon combined for the latter to score what looked like a late winner, but VAR ruled the goal out for offside and England went on to shoot themselves in the foot in extra time. A John Stones error ended with a Kyle Walker own goal before a similar Barkley mistake saw Dutch replacement Quincy Promes finish into an empty net to kill off any lingering England hopes. Defeat for England leaves them in a third place playoff against Switzerland while the Netherlands go on to face Cristiano Ronaldo and hosts Portugal in the final on Sunday evening. Ronald Koeman was quick to praise De Ligt despite the young defender's error for the opening goal. We all make mistakes, but he responded superbly. Straight away he beat a player. I said nothing to him at half-time and was delighted that he scored. Southgate too was keen to defend his own players. I'm asking them to play a tough game at the back. If we didn't play that way, we wouldn't be here. We didn't lose because of how we wanted to play. We lost because of poor execution and fatigue. It wasn't just the two goals, we made errors and gave opportunities which should have been punished before that.